Welcome back to a ting. Alright, so we got some really nice farming requests. Currently doing a farm run. And we got an easy request for grain walls. And then the hard request is a barrow's item reward. So we're going to do both of them. We got all the items I need. So let's hand in the easy one first for some grain walls. And honestly, hopefully, my god, voice break. Hopefully from the hard request, we can get a really good item weapon, hopefully. Um, what? That's definitely not a Barrow's item. Did, I mean, I literally just got Barrow's totems. Kinda wish I just sold my spider, to be honest. It's <laughs> such a bad reward. Yeah, my, my machine's got a little bit of GP to collect. Not too much, but should do for a while. Get my gnats back, and there we go. Got some GP. That'll do me for some more dailies. I'll be gone in a couple of weeks. Just about to complete an ascension task. That was a really, really good task. We got seven keystones, which is absolutely sick. And even though I have tier 92 range, staring god boat, I still want to get ascensions because I'm pretty sure ascensions are still better than Serum Godbow. Just for the fact that you can use bolts with it. I want to start using Ruby and Hydrix back criminal bolts for mad deeps and just use SGB for the spec. Been doing like three days straight of nothing but Slayer, so I'm gonna go Vindictive for a bit. Been a long time since I got something. Oh, please get him before he flies away. Rip. Oi. Oi. Hello. There's a little something. <laughs> My first drop in a very long time. Very nice to see a drop. Just about to finish an hour of Vindicta. Got a crest, which is very nice, but nothing else. Yeah, we're done. No more bosses will spawn. Not a very good hour for normal loot. Although I did get a decent amount of magic logs, which is probably good. Done with this cow fight task. And of course we did the corrupted ones for the beautiful keys. Managed to get four of them, which ain't too bad. And yeah, we have no more uh, Soffenheim enhancer things for the keys. But honestly, they're not worth using. They're just way too expensive. If it was like 5k dungeon tokens per, then maybe, but nah. You spend about 50,000 tokens per hour. Alright, so that was an average task. We got two keystones, but there's something we're about to get, which is somewhat of an achievement, I guess. There we go. I just completed 1,000 Slayer tasks in a row. Got 330 points for it. That's a nice little milestone. Another really nice Slayer task. That was a Corrupted. Got like 230 or something. And we got six Keystones, which is really good. That's six more keys towards my Kopeshes. One day. One day, man. Really? We just got another Vecna Skull. That is honestly crazy. I know it's not a good drop, it's literally useless. But I've been playing Iron Man for like six years, or five or six years. Never seen a Vecna Skull. A few days ago I get one from a Serum Spirit and now I get one from Slayer. What even? <laughs> not really sure what to say about that. I'm about to get myself a Herb Lord level, 116 coming up. Slowly coming towards 120. Still got a long way to go, but there we go. 116 herbal. Pretty much all from dailies, not gonna lie. Oh my god, 7.3 mil XP till the next level. Ugh, that's gonna take a while. That is another Soul Devourer is done, and this is the reason I love them. One keystone. Through it. Oh, okay, I got two. Still really bad. Corrupted, I would have got six. One thing I need to do is buy some more Vital Spark Enhancers. Because they are definitely worth it, I think. 
because they're really cheap, 1k each. I'm probably just going to spend all of my dungeon points on these. I honestly regret buying all of those Sofenheim enhancers. Such a waste. Five days ago I had 800,000 tokens. And now I'm literally on zero. I wasted like 600,000 tokens on maybe an extra 10 keystones. Absolutely pointless. But these are going to come in useful. Slowly help me creep towards... Okay. Slowly help me creep towards my Limitless Sigil. Alright, I did another two hours of Vindicta. The first hour I got nothing, and this hour I got nothing again. Really bad two trips. Oh, I got an Essence, I guess. That's the third Essence this hour. And I got a Dormant Helm too, but... Eh. This cash is going to get me 114 in Divination. So, six levels from that beautiful cape, which is basically like 47,000 more caches. So, we're close. Should be 120 in about eight and a half years. Alright, finally, I have more dinosaurs to collect. So, we've got three more elders here, which are going to give me some lovely bottle drawers. And then, if we stroll over to the other side. We have another three elders. I put them all in at the same time, so they should all be ready. Ah, I have one adult. Um, okay. Still gonna collect the other two, but hmm. that's kind of annoying. Put in six at the same time, and only five grew. And the other one still has like ten hours to grow. Absolutely love the consistency. Um, so. Hi. Yeah, I got this. I got this weird item. Don't know what it is. Pretty sure it's from the Christmas event. Oh my god. What am I holding? <laughs> so cute though, not gonna lie. Oh, please let me override this as a two hander. <laughs> yeah, don't mind me. Just collecting some fungus. Definitely ran out of replenishment pots. They do not last long. Pretty sure I made like a couple of hundred last time <laughs> and they're already gone. Literally burn through replenishments. Still, doesn't take long to get the supplies to make them, so it's not so bad. Alright, last inventory and we didn't get too many to be honest, we got a few. After this I should have like 120, 130 replenishments. Yeah, nice. And I still have like 90 Mortmire Fungus in the bank as well. So as soon as I run out uh, of a drain, I can just instantly make some more. Okay, it's finally going to happen. Um, so for the past couple of hours, I've been camping Raksha. But still waiting on a drop. But honestly, I'm bored of using Pernix, so I'm going to make myself a Serenic set. I did say to myself, I'm not going to make a Serenic set until I get enough scales to instantly turn it into Elite Serenic. But honestly, I really hate ED1 and I'm not good at it. So, in the future, I'll definitely get into ED1. But for now, yeah, I'm just going to make a tier 90 Serenic set. I've had so many scales in the bank for so long, but I've just never made it. And it's about time I upgrade my range gear. And okay, that should be all the thread that I need. So let's go make myself some augmenters and let's go and augment some Serenic. Alright, just gotta put the augmenters on now. And I still have like 219 scales, which is very nice. So I still have enough scales to make like another two sets or something. Plus, you get a lot of Serenic scales from Raksha, so I, I constantly build them back up anyway. Alright, now it's time for the hardest part, getting perks. Unfortunately, I have like no classic components, so if I get unlucky with perks, I'm gonna have to do some archaeology, so I can make some more ancient gizmos. The dream would be to get every perk I need first try, just saying. The first perk I'm going for is arguably the hardest one. 
I'm going for a Relentless 5 Crackling 4. Last time this gizmo took me about 60 tries, 70 tries, so... Mm. No, no, no. Nope. Nope. And nope. Cool. Alright, time to go train some archaeology. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, done a little bit of archaeology. And I managed to get myself 30 classic components. So I got 15 more tries for Relentless 5 Crackling 4. Come on. Be good to me. I really hate going to low level archaeology spots. Ah, oh, it's not looking good. Okay, last one. Still no Relentless 5 Crackling 4. And we go back to archaeology, I guess. I wish I could buy components. Sad face. This is so boring. I just spent one hour 40 minutes doing some archaeology. I got about 60 low level artifacts. And then I spent some time gathering materials that I need. And we only have another 8 gizmos. They are so hard to get classic components. Come on, game. Please give me luck. Please. Oh my god, relentless constantly. Mm, Okie dokie, not gonna happen. Alright, I'm done with archaeology for tonight, I don't want to do any more. I literally sit there gathering materials and camping the level 15 spot or 20 spot. I could just go ahead and put relentless 5 onto my gear, but I don't know. I'm just gonna go back to Rapture in Pernix for now. And then I'll try a couple more times to get Relentless 5 Crackling 4. And if it doesn't happen, then I'll just put Relentless 5 on until I can get another Relentless 5 Crackling 4. Thank you all for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you're new and you want to see more, then you can always subscribe to my channel. Would be much appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.